folks, I got a new lesson uh, for you today concerning that stuff that I was just playing there, a little blues in A, uh, just staying on the one chord. Uh, this is kind of a real Lightning Hopkins style lesson, that kind of play, and I think of Lightning Hopkins. Um, Lightning Hopkins played primarily in the key of E, but we, but that that was in A. So, uh, and the reason we're doing A is this stuff is going to fit right along with the last lesson I did, those turnarounds in A. So uh, once you get these blues licks down, you get those turnarounds down, you can put them all together in one piece of music. Um, so let's get right into it. Let me show you the scale that I'm thinking about. It starts on this high A note, uh, first string, fifth fret, using my third finger, and then I'm going down to the first string, third fret, second string, fifth fret, third fret, first fret, down to the third string, second fret, open, open third string, fourth string, second fret, open fourth string, fifth string, third fret, and open fifth string. It's the whole scale, A minor pentatonic. in there, which is just a, an E flat, those two places. Or the other way. So that's the position we're going to be using, and I'm going to be keeping my thumb steady, just one string thumping away there palm muting a little bit, right here with the palm of my hand next to the bridge, trying to get kind of a thumpy kind of sound. I'm thinking in four, one, two, three, four. And the idea really is to be able to improvise with that scale while I've got my thumb going. But let me show you this lick that I started out with when I was improvising there at the beginning. I'm going to start with my third finger, second string, fourth fret, and we're going to slide into the fifth fret. And then we're going to reach up and grab this first string third fret. Those two notes are going to ring together. Kind of implies an A7 chord if you play the thumb at the same time. And I'm going to do that twice. And then I'm going to start in the same place, second string fourth fret, but this time I'm going to slide down to the third fret and pull off to the first fret. And then end on the root note, second finger, third string, second fret. And then sometimes I'm going to add a little hammer on here, open string to that root note again. And that's the whole lick. Real traditional blues lick. Uh, like I said, Lightning Hopkins kind of idea. And the trick, the hard part, you know, that the lick's not so hard to play by itself and the thumb's not so hard to play by itself, but when I was first getting started, the hard thing is keeping that thumb going really steady and playing the lick over the top of that. fifth string, third fret, bending it just a little. It's really the only note I ever kind of add on that. If I'm thumping one root note there is that little minor third bend just a little bit. same slide, same first string third fret, do it again, and then I'm going to, instead of going down, I'm going to go up to that first string fifth fret root note. Couple 
ideas for you. I'll give you one last one, starting with the same slide. And I'm going to use those two notes. I'm going to do triplets. I'm going to alternate. Do da do da do da. Sounds like this. But I'm going to keep the thumb going at the same time. Ending it the same way. That same slide down, pull off, root note. ideas for you. Uh, you know, learn those and uh, you know, be really patient with yourself, keeping that thumb steady while you're while you're getting the licks down. And you know, once you've mastered those, you can take that scale and kind of run with it and do your own thing. So send me an email uh, either on my website, brandonreevesmusic.com or you know, via YouTube or Facebook, whatever. Send me an email if you got any questions or anything you want me to talk about in our video lessons. Alright, see you next time. Thank you.